It's May 16, 1919, and the 552-foot steamer D.R. Hannah is sailing on Lake Huron, headed for Buffalo, New York, with 377,000 bushels of wheat from Duluth, Minnesota. D.R. Hannah was built in 1906 by the American Shipbuilding Company of Lorain, Ohio. The ship was launched on October 20th of 1906. The D.R. Hannah measured 552 feet in length, 56 feet in width, and 31 feet in depth. The Quincy A. Shaw was a new vessel to the lakes as it was launched on May 17, 1911, ironically. The ship measured 524 feet in length, 54 feet in width, and 30 feet in depth. The Shaw was upbound on Lake Huron with coal on May 16, 1919. It was a foggy day as is the usual in May on the lakes. The DR Hannah was downbound with 377,000 bushels of wheat near Thunder Bay Island. All of a sudden, the Quincy A. Shaw appeared out of the fog and slammed into the DR Hannah. Then, the Hannah rolled over and sank. Luckily, the crew was able to survive the collision as they boarded the Quincy A. Shaw. The DR Hannah lies under 135 feet of water in Lake Huron, six miles northeast of Thunder Bay Light. The wreck is the largest of the Thunder Bay Marine Sanctuary. Anyway, subscribe for more shipwreck videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.